Hey everyone, welcome back to the garage where today I'm trying to make a small adjustable camera mount. Uh, being a small YouTuber, uh, I always have to debate between buying camera equipment or trying to buy materials for my next project. I bought this from Harbor Freight. The reason I bought this uh, was because it has this cool switchable magnet on it. So you can not have any magnetism and then switch it on and then it's magnetic. It actually takes some effort to pull off the table. In magnets, how do they work? Uh, and I got a lot of metal things in the garage that I can stick it onto. But first I've got to remedy this because cameras mount on, because camera mounts are one quarter 20 and I have to make a quarter 20 or make this into a quarter 20. So let's get rolling. One eternity later. This mini lathe that I'm borrowing doesn't have a cutoff tool, so I guess you got to work with what you got and make it happen. Well, I finished getting this tapped, or I guess it's called tapped, I don't know, dyed. And then made sure this quarter 20 GoPro mount piece went on there. And it does, uh, come on. Maybe I lied, it doesn't work. Let's see if this fits in here. Oh, it's too big slightly. Oh, it goes. Well, after enough screwing around. <laughs> and fiddling, I got this to fit right in the hole. This thread's on quarter 20. Oh, focus. So after I did that, I modeled it in Fusion 360 and 3D printed one. So I'll share this file on Thingiverse. So if you want to do this yourself, and had access to a 3D printer, which is a little easier than a mini lathe. You can, uh, you could 3D print one. Well, thanks for watching. I hope this is interesting enough to earn a subscribe down in the but <clears throat> down with the buttons, and we'll see you next time.